Hi ladies and gentlemen, let's meet again. It's me, Madam Nastra. And our topic today, it is from the English language. The topic is listening skills. So, I'm here to introduce to you the new topic, which is listening skills. Before going to learn the listening skills, so we have to know first what is listening. Starting by definition, listening is the ability to accurately receive and interpret message or messages in the communication process. Listening is the ability of accurate, not only ability, but it's accurate to receive. You receive message accurately, then you interpret that, that message in the communication process. When people talk to each other, to each other. One will talk, the another will listen. So when they understand and they give give feedback to one another, we, this will be that or we can say that they are listening to each other. It involves identifying it identifying sound of a speech and processing them into words and sentences identifying the sounds of the speech and processing them into words and sentences. When we listen, we use our ears to receive individual sounds. So, we use our ears to receive the individual sounds. Letters, stress, rhythm and pauses. And we use our brain to convert them into the message that means that means something to us. So you use ears to receive the message. Then we use brain to convert or to interpret that message. That the, it is the brain which gives the meaning of what have been heard by ears. So in the listening skills, the two organs use the uh, ears and brain. Listening in any language requires focus and attention. Listening is the key to all of effective communication. It is the skills that some people need to work at even harder than others. In any language requires focus and attention. So, listening is the key to effective communication. We can't achieve the effective communication without listening. People who have difficult in concentrating are typically in poor are typically poor listeners that here we can know that we can understand that in order to achieve effective communication we have to concentrate in listening so those who have who are poor in concentrating they are also poor listeners like example of these are babies uh, they say that we learn this skill by listening to people who already know how to speak the language this may may or not include native speakers for practice you can listen to live or to recorded voice to live or to recorded voice the most important thing is to listen a variety of voices and the of often as you can and be not be not be to become a fluent speaker, you need to develop strong listening skills. Listening not only help you to understand what people say, it as they say that in order to you or in order for a person to become a fluent speaker, you have to develop strong listening skills. You have to have the strong listening ability in, so as you can succeed to be a fluent speaker. This listening not only help you to understand what people say, 
to you but also it help you to speak clearly to other people if you listen well it will be easy for you to speak well or clear to other people because when you listen it means that you are going to give what you have heard to another person so if you didn't understand you didn't listen well it's you won't succeed you won't give or you won't you won't pass the message effectively the next is it helps you to learn how to pronounce words properly properly if you listen well you listen attentively it help you as a speaker to pronounce words properly another it help how to use intonation and where to place stress in words and sentences if you listen well it will help you to use the intonation also where to place stress i mean where to stress words in the sentences now after seeing that the short introduction about the listening skills let's see what are the strategies of listening since listening is activities that is both physical and mental it need active active involvement of the listeners since it is a, since the listening is activity so listening is an activity which need both physical whenever we, we talk about physical here we mean about the ears and mental mental is about about brain it need active involvement So there is a need for one for listener to have the listening strategies. The first one is have the desire to listen. Listening because becomes effective if the listener exerts the desire to listen. That is it needs someone to have interest in understanding what the speaker is talking about listener need to prepare his or her mind that he is ready for listening before you are going to maybe to the speech room or maybe into the class hour the class like to the session room you have to prepare your mind you make your mind ready for listening make your mental that be ready for listening tell by yourself that now i'm going to listen that is will make you to have the interest of listening and understanding what the speaker is saying about the next is be open and develop willingness to learn be open and develop willingness to learn do not attempt to challenge everything that you hear instead give the speaker time to air his or her views in order to get new information that you are argued to be ready to hear even thing that you don't believe in this show that tolerance is brittle be open and develop living willingness if we are, if we want to achieve active listening do not make your mind that oh do not argue do not achieve the list the, the speaker about what everything he is or she is talking about even though something that you don't know or you don't understand but try to be tolerant so as you can achieve the the act or the active listening and you can be the good listener and you can succeed even you can understand what have been saying instead of challenging everything challenging everything asking everything interrupt the speaker you won't achieve you won't be a good listener good listener is attentively he is always silent and be his attention to what the speaker is saying about 
The next is postpone judgment. In the process of listening, the listener are adjusts not to judge or speaker based the judge to a speaker based on his or her appearance instead they need to concentrate on what the speaker is talking about that is the judgment has to be based on the message and on the speaker's appearance postpone judgment don't judge the speaker about maybe look at him look at her what do you, what she or he has war. Look at his maybe his hairstyle. Look at his or her dress. That will make you not achieving to the what he is speaking or what she is speaking. Instead, you'll be just judging the appearance of the speaker. So, in the listening skills, what you as a listener, what you need is his or her message. Ignore his appearance. The next is be physically and mentally alert. The listener are advised to bring their mind focusing on the speaker. That is sitting in the manner that they see the speaker all the time. This means that you should face the speaker. In the listening skills, you as a listener, you have to bring the mind focusing on the speaker. So sit the place where you can see the speaker all the time. Do not sit at the back. That's why they advise to come earlier to the speech room. Next one is observe the listeners are advised carefully. Observe what the speaker is doing in this stage this will help you to identify important things being emphasized by the speaker so you should be you should be in observing all the all what the speaker does as most of the non-verbal does complement the verbal part of the message you have to observe the speaker on what she or he is doing In this stage, this will help you to identify the important points which is being emphasized. For example, when the speaker says, stop making noise in the speaking room, stop them, and then he use maybe his hands or his head by insisting or by emphasizing them, you have to observe. So as you too as they listen you can know that this word has been emphasized so if it is emphasized it might be the important thing or important method message the next is focus on understanding the speaker viewpoint to listen with the intention of understanding what the speaker believe in that is respect the speaker with empath now predict and ask questions so if we don't ask questions the speaker may have to predictability that what I have said it is totally understood or totally not understood so it is better for you as a good listener to ask the question then look at look as you listening tell the speaker by your appearance that you are listening that is sit straight and establish the maintaining eye contact look as you listen the one who is listening even the speaker know that the that person is listening to you to me tell the speaker by your appearance that you are listening so you have to sit straight to the speaker and maintain eye contact with the speaker
the next is avoid things that can act as barriers to prevent you from paying attention to what is being talked about avoid things that can act as a barrier to prevent you from paying attention to what is being talked about so you have to avoid things that you think that will be barrier for you to listen well for example court well if you know that where i'm going it is the it is the maybe it is a cold room prepare by yourself by wearing maybe sweater so as the your listening task won't be interrupted by the that hot that coldness if someone is talking up he is talking nearby you just try to ignore to ignore him or her the tenth point is do not make any disturbance unnecessary such as talking unnecessary so that you can understand do not do not make any disturbance don't talk while the speaker is talking to that is sure and clear the next is avoid rudeness impolite by showing lack of cooperation such as reading newspaper talking to phone if if we listen and you want to be a good listener and you want to understand what he is talked about even now when i'm talking you too you have to avoid something that will show that it will be you not know, cooperative to the speaker like reading newspaper while the speaker is talking maybe a teacher where her teacher is talking and you you try to read newspaper or even talking to phone that will be not in not a good behavior in not good manner and you won't achieve the active listening skills and you won't be a good listener at the thing that now we see after thing that the previous where we have discussed you were the strategies for you to achieve for you to become a good listener so how to listen well become an effective listener how first stop talking do not talk while somebody is somebody else is talking listen to what they are saying do not interrupt talk of them or finish their sentences for them when the other person has finished talking you may need to clarify to ensure you have received the message accurately while the speaker is talking do not talk to be silent be quiet listen don't interrupt the speaker the second is prepare yourself to listen relax and focus on the speak put other things out of mind then human mind is easily disturbed by other thought for example what for lunch what time to do i need to leave to catch my train it is going to rain relax and you prepare yourself to listen focus on the speak leave or put other things aside do not interrupt because the, the human mind it is easily to be interrupted by thought so you have to leave all of the things that encountered in mind then decide that i'm going to listen and ignore don't 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 tell about what i'm going to eat during the lunch time maybe what will be my breakfast or what will i use oh what will i use what maybe will i use maybe border border when i will be go i will be or oh, i will be going to the hostel oh don't interrupt by yourself make your mind that i'm going to listen The next is put the speaker at easy help the speaker to feel 
free to speak. Remember, they their needs are constant. They need they need is constant. Not hate or use gestures or words to encourage them to continue. Maintain eye contact, but don't stare. Put the speaker at ease. This is to make the speaker feel free that they are listening to me. If I know that you are listening attentively, I will be free even to teach you what I am teaching. How you can prove your speaker that you are listening attentively? You have to show cooperation, maybe by nodding heads, by maybe saying when he asks or she asks that I am clear. You can say yes sir, oh yes madam, oh no madam, what about that? That is showing cooperativeness. This will make the speaker free about what she or he is speaking about. Next is remove distraction. Focus on what is being said. Do not doodle, shove papers, look out the window, pick your fingernails, something like that. Remove all distraction. Something that you think that will, will distract you. Maybe when teacher is teaching and you are looking outside the, outside the window and looking how all other people say outside the window are doing or trying to pick up your nail finger so the speaker will know that ah, he or she is not listening well and you too you want to understand what it has, is what she or she has been saying and the speaker will be bored automatically next is emphasis Try to understand the other person's point of view. Look at issue from their perspective. By having an open mind, we can more fully empathize with the speaker. If the speaker says something that you disagree with, then wait and construct argument to counter. What is said but keep an open mind to the views and opinions of others. The next one is be patient. A pause, even a long pause does not necessarily mean that the speaker has finished. Be patient and let the speaker continue with their own time because some, sometimes it takes long time to formulate what to say and how, how to say it. Be patient, even here, if we see your teacher, or your, um, yeah, I mean, be sir or madam, making a pause, it doesn't mean that he or she has ended the session. It's just a pause, so you have to be tolerant, be patient, be patient and let the speaker continue in their own time because sometimes it takes a long time to formulate what to say and how to say. As you, as a good speaker, you, I think you encounter this scenario. So I advise you to not make noise. Most of students tend to make noise if teacher or the speaker saying then end up on and they're making maybe a long pause, they start to mama maybe, they start to murmuring or to just making noise silently and they think that, oh, teacher has ended what he was speaking. So, so making a long pause, it doesn't mean that he has ended. Be patient. Avoid personal prejudice. Try to, impartial, to be impartial. Do not become irritated and do not let the person's habit or mannerism distract you from what they are really saying. Everybody has different way of speaking. 
For example, some are nervous or sky, some have regional accent, some make excessive arm movement. So focus what on what is being said and ignore how about said. This is about how people speak. It will be accent or how people move their body when they speak. So you you as a good listener do not care about his or her regional accent, about his or her way he or she move his or her body, maybe her arms, like I, I always like to use my arm. For you, in order to achieve, focus on what is being said and ignore about style. Do not say that, oh, look at how she took. I don't listen to him. I think I won't understand. Oh, look at how he used his his hands or her hands. I won't listen to him. Whatever. Ignore all of that. You just focus on what is being said. Next is listen to tone volume and tone add to what someone is saying a good speaker will use both volume and tone to the advantage to keep audience attentive everybody will use pitch tone and volume of voice in certain situation so in the speaking the speaker will use certain volume and tone and every pitch or tone have meaning in the listening for example, others tend to use high pitch when they, they, they insist on something, while others use low pitch when they are in the unhappy mood, while others tend to use high pitch when they are unhappy. So this will help you that the, will help you to understand the message that this is serious, this is very, very sadness story, or this is a happy story. So you have to concentrate on tone and volume. Next is listen for ideas not just words you need to get the whole picture not just isolated bits of piece so you have to capture the whole idea and not just a single word as others tend to use then you have to distinguish between fact and opinion fact it is what is known which is researched by different researchers and came out with the the same answers while opinion it is one's mind while one's attitude so example of this tanzania is union of tanganyika and zanzibar tanzania is the union of tanganyika and zanzibar this is fact 24 people died in accident yesterday also this is fact but now let's see, let's see the next sentence. Most of the people who are fat are lazy. This is R. Most of people who are fat are lazy. This is opinion. Why I say this is a fact, this is opinion. It is researched and it is clear, accurate. Tanzania, Tanzania is a union of Tanganyika and Tanzania. And when someone say exact number, like 24 people dead in accident yesterday, it is a fact. But when some the, or another person say most of the people who are fat are lazy, it is somebody's attitude. It is not the fact because there are some people who are fat and still they work hard. They are not lazy. Then follow meaning markers, sequence, meaning markers like sequences of nouns, notes 
taking help us to follow more attentively what is being said and to have a record of what we listen to for future use. Or oh, as a reference, it is not possible to remember all what we listen. So we need to take notes. You can't understand in the all things or the whole speech in which the speaker has said to you. So you have to take some notes, some some important points, so as it will make you to remember what has been said. Up to there, I hope that you have understand. Oh, you got you got me well about the listening. So before proceeding to next session, let me leave you with this task. First, do you think it is important for us to become a good listener? If it is, if it is yes or no, why? You think that it is important for us to be to become a good listener, and why? Next is how can a person listen well? You as a listener, how can you listen well? Thank you, Lemis. Next session. Thank you.